So, the more people know about a secret, the greater the chance of it being exposed. So the logical solution is to cut the number of people who know of my presence here. So I guess we'll start with a wild card. Paddy boy, say goodbye. No! No, a twofer. Why not? Robin, get out of there. No, no, I'm not moving. Well, I would appreciate that. You see, I have to line up the shot rather precisely in order to kill you both at the same time. So, Dr. Robin, could you move to my right and your left? We wouldn't want Paddy surviving long enough to kill me with his bare hands. Would I would love He wouldn't risk Robin's life by telling the police you're staying here. You have his cooperation. I'm not going to do anything to put Robin in danger. Let's just stick with the original plan. Nicholas and I will fake a romance. Patrick will pretend he's jealous. You'll get your new identity, and we'll all keep your secrets. This can still work. No one has to die. Well, that's a trifle optimistic, but I'm willing to give it a shot, so to speak. Paddy can go back to the hospital, but if the truth comes out, Robin pays. Dear, it's still pulling to the left. Oh, well. Good luck next time. All right? You better hope that Paddy doesn't screw this up, because if anyone else hears about our little arrangement, I will respond accordingly. I, and I can assure you that this time, my aim will be deadly accurate. There's no need to threaten her. She knows better than anyone what's at stake here. I'm not talking about Robin here. I'm talking about that bloody boyfriend of hers. He seems to be so quick with his temper. Patrick is a doctor. He's used to being under pressure. He's not going to say anything. Right. Just make sure of it. I want you to go back to the hospital and keep an eye on him. And if Paddy seems the least bit inclined to talk, Remind him of what he stands to lose. Clear? Yeah. Every talk screen you've done for Dr. Scorpio in the last month. Great, I'll be down in a few minutes. needs to be done about Dr. Ford. If he makes any more changes in the admission policy, we won't have patients left to treat. Now, we need to get the staff together for me a night at front for the next board meeting. Yeah, I'm not big on administrative policy. Yeah, well, maybe so. Every patient that comes through these doors has the right to treatment, whether they can afford it or not. Agree? I, I don't have time to help right now. What happened to your eye? It's nothing. You know... When Robin came into your life, I've watched you evolve from, a, from an arrogant show-off to a caring physician. I was sure I hate to see you backsliding over a broken heart. Well, Dad, it's a little more complicated than that right now, okay? Hey, I made copies of all the labs on this special project. What? I think if we work together, we can isolate the toxin sooner. No, 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 absolutely not. Robin, you need my help on this. You can help by minding your own business. You know what? You need to drop the personal drama and focus on your work. That is why you're here, right? Nobody's sorry than I am that you two couldn't find a way to make your relationship work, believe me. But whatever animosity you have towards each other should be left at the door. This hospital's in crisis. Not only is Dr. Ford emerging as the strongest candidate for chief of staff, but MedCamp's positioning for takeover. So if you guys care about your patients, you need to drop the personal drama and focus on the big picture. This hospital cannot afford to have doctors who do not conduct themselves in a professional manner. You're right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Look, you know, I'm sorry if I came up sounding harsh. It had to be said. There are some personal situations a lot more serious than you can even understand. lab work that I did on Nicholas. Because the sooner we find a counter-agent, the sooner we can call the cops. I don't want to be under Craig's thumb any longer than we have to be. Listen to me. If you keep antagonizing Craig, he will kill you. Okay? And I don't know what I would do if something happened to you, so you just have to promise me that you will play along with this for now. As much as I hate this, it's better than thinking you bailed on me. <sighs> for future reference, I'm not going to bail on you, ever. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck with me. Would you want it any other way? Thank you. The final.